We have the error light on again. Here. What happened? I'm the slowest mechanic on earth, I guess. I heard the small click. That's good. Ha! Win in the engine bay. Hey, hey, how is it going? I'm a traveler from Finland who wanted to share adventures, technical challenges, and the fun of living in a self made camper van. Welcome aboard! Nothing starts the journey like reading the OBD error codes. It says that the switchable coolant pump has some problems. I translate that as that coolant pump is not working properly, so the temperature should rise during the trial. Let's have a look. The temperature stayed normal, but after our small pit stop, the engine warning light was on again. I already had a bag full of different sensors for the parking sensors and the brake shoes for the rear brakes. Apparently we need to pivot this plan a bit because we got the engine warning light on our way here. The engine warning light is about the coolant pump. We didn't know which coolant pump exactly because there is the mechanical pump for the engine coolant circle circulation, but uh, this other line goes for the cabin heating and it uses the same coolant. So we followed the coolant lines and found another smaller pump, which is probably powered by electricity. So we think that the problem is this small coolant pump here in the um, rear end of the engine hood. I can show you where. So this is the engine, there is the coolant reservoir and here we can see when, you when we follow the coolant lines that here is another very small pump so this might be the one that's causing the problems. And by the way, if you ever want to learn how to use big machinery and drive for example big forestry machines, I strongly suggest you to visit Gradia, their web pages. It is a Finnish school that teaches uh, the way of working in the forest, for example. Uh, they are not sponsoring or anything. I just know that they are really cool people, really nice people. And I visited their kiosk at the Finmetko Fair in Finland and won this scarf from their competition. And I promised to say hi and uh, suggest that you Visit their web pages if you ever want to learn how to try, for example, forestry machines. The continuity test was really difficult to perform because the connector pins were really deep inside the pump. We didn't get any sensible resistance readings. We ensured that the supply voltage was good for the connection and visually everything seemed fine. The coolant pump startup and operation also seemed normal. This has been very annoying. According to our tests, this coolant pump should be working fine. We both uh, touched it when it, we switch the ignition on, we could feel the small vibration of it. There is another point of interest here. It is some kind of a switch valve, solenoid type. It is in a very tight spot and we are trying to figure out if the problem lies there. The component was hiding in a small cavity next to the radiator fan. Once again, impossible to test on the spot. So we needed to detach this switch over valve solenoid for the auxiliary coolant pump.
that is quite big mega ohms resistance. This place is like a treasure chest. We have similar kind of spare parts lying around, so we can also compare what kind of resistances they have. Only 12 ohms, not mega ohms. And this was the piece we tested. We think that the problem is this part here. It is the solenoid operated change over valve or switch over valve for the auxiliary coolant pump. It cools, for example, EGR, which is exhaust gas recirculation in the engine. And it might also cool some other components in the circuit. But we don't know exactly how the circulation goes. So um, we were a little hesitant, should we continue our drive with this faulty, faulty part. But we have decided that because the engine warning light is the yellow one, and the engine is not in the limping mode, it should be okay to drive for another 200 kilometers with this faulty part. Got it. Straight from the shelves of the local spare parts store. 36 euros only. And the friendly cashier told that it is kind of like a bestseller product. <laughs> and he also informed me that there are actually two of these buggers in the engine, so we spotted only the one that is in the front. We hope it is only this one that is broken in our case. I want to test this switch over valve before I install it. So here is the multimeter. There. 28 ohms, much better than the 10 kilo ohms, sorry, mega ohms we got in the beginning with the foldy one. Should be good to go. Every time with these black plastic electrical connectors, I'm struggling. I don't break anything very often, but it takes me ages to de detach them, making it easier from the other side. Disconnecting the air hoses. It's no coolant liquid, or at least, at least it shouldn't be. I heard the noise. I heard the small click. That was good. Here is the new part. And I'm placing it on its original place. So it will be <laughs> actually this way attached to this bracket here. We are going for a test drive. I drove here around 20 minutes. Let the engine stand still so it cools down. And let's see how the ignition goes. Do we still have the engine warning light on? Yes! Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, like and share. See you next time!